We use the slide board to train lower half drive and athletes who don't necessarily know how to feel their back leg firing as well as it's supposed to, don't necessarily know how to drive off that back leg down the mound. So what we like this for is uh, you know, teaching athletes to engage laterally off the rubber. So on the slide board, you really don't have any stability. For guys who stay very upright during their drives, during their uh, forward initiation of motion, um, you know, there's no stability on the slide board. So it forces you to really engage back into the rubber, back into the side of the slide board uh, to have any sort of stability at all. So we're just gonna go through regular leg lift and then drive through it. So it's gonna look like this. Come set, leg lift, drive. Come set, drive. As you get more comfortable with this, you want a slide board that has adjustable pegs so that you can lengthen it out further and further. One common mistake that we see is guys will, will not necessarily know how to feel that angle, feel that force vector from that heel through that back hip, through that front hip. So a lot of times guys will just go through and they'll stay very upright and they'll just kind of push off. So a cue that we use is keep that back foot cemented or screwed down into the, into the ground. So as we drive, that back foot stays down and we're projecting that force through the front hip. So just check out the difference real quick. This is a correct one and then an incorrect one. That back foot kind of stays left behind versus pushing off like that.